Well, here we are, and we are super excited. Dustin Kidd, Bourbon City Yacht Tenders, has just pulled up with our brand new high field tender. Uh, let's check this thing out. Welcome to a special edition happy hour. We got our new dinghy, and we are out here just floating in Grand Haven, and I uh, wanted to tell you about it and give you um, the top 10 things that we like about this new high field from Bourbon City Yacht Tenders. Cheers. So if you watched some of our loop videos before, we have had a West Marine um, rigid inflatable boat. It has a uh, fiberglass bottom, 9.9 uh, .9 horse Merc on it. And uh, ever since we rode in a high field at the AGLCA <laughs> Fall Rendezvous, we were, we were ruined. We have been in love. We talked to uh, Dustin Kidd at Bourbon City Yacht Tenders, mm -hmm. and um, we've been working on making this happen for a long time. So, and the, the West Marine is serviceable. Completely serviceable, and, and it went on to a new owner yesterday, just right over here in Grand Haven, and so um, we're happy about that. Uh, and the previous owners did the whole loop with it. Yeah, it, it's a completely reasonable way to do the loop, but uh, we have upgraded, and we want to tell you all about uh, why we're excited about this. Uh, and it's fitting that we do it here. Uh, this is Grand Haven, Michigan. Uh, this is where we took delivery of our new tender, and uh, also the site of the famous uh, dead fish in our tender right. um, about two months ago. So as we were coming <laughs> north on Lake Michigan, uh, we had had a particularly rough day. We filmed a video about that. We went into town to cheer ourselves up and kind of did. Yeah, we did. And then when we made our way back to our tender, some hooligans had thrown a dead fish in it. And that like just dead, like days dead. tanked our spirits. Mm. Uh, we almost had a mutiny on our hands. <laughs> uh, so it's fitting that we received our brand new tender here in Grand Haven. Thank you to Dustin for uh, driving it up yes. from Louisville, where he is based, uh, to deliver it to us. But anyway, let's get into the top 10 things that uh, we like. In no uh, order? Uh, in, per in kind of order, I don't know. Uh, maybe in in some kind of an order. <laughs> uh, number one, let's talk about how it's powered. This is a Tohatsu 20 horse and it has auto tilt. So you, Ooh, yeah. you just flip the switch and it goes up, it goes down. Um, from a guy with back trouble uh, trying to get the old um, uh, tender motor to tip mm -hmm. up for putting it on our swim platform uh, was tough. And the 9.9 .9 versus the 20 horse, world of difference. This thing gets up and goes <laughs> with four of us and, and it, a dog. And it planes. It like, planes and um, yeah, we are loving that. Uh, not that we ever need to go somewhere fast in our uh, tender, but um, it's <laughs> a lot more fun when you do. We actually, on the fish day, we, ha we were out running a storm too. Yeah. And so we had Oh yeah, thunderstorm was coming. And, and, you, and we beat it by a minute, but then we had to do fish, fish cleanup. Fish cleanup in the rain, which mm -hmm. was less fun. Uh, the other thing I like, uh, turn key start. Easy to start. That's all there is to it. Not That's the, as easy as it is. Um, nine pulling. Al although the, the Merc had a pretty reliable engine on it, it yeah, would pull it on the first or second try. Um, no one it was just, yeah. you know, always doing this mm -hmm. and um, you know, the times that it didn't because it was, you know, low on gas or this or that, mm -hmm. um, not pleasant. So this is super easy, super convenient. Um, the other thing that we love about this is we're sitting here in a bench seat right now. Yes, um, we're, with the steering. We're, yeah. we're faced forward. Mm -hmm. We have the, the, um, the FCT console for the high field. So we sit in the seat. It's got a steering wheel. It's easy to drive. It's I not the... I don't have the, to sit and get wet butt. Yeah, it's, it's not the tiller steer. So again, with my back, I actually threw my back out riding in our old tender because um, you sit on the side and you do the tiller drive, but you want to be facing forward. So you kind of do a twist yeah. and then that, you're getting that, that spine compression mm -hmm. of going over the wakes. And so um, I really credit that um, yeah. tender with my back trouble in Mackinac Island. Yeah, so we did a lot of yeah. Um, 
not to mention safety and like nav lights. Like we like coming back <laughs> late from um, restaurants or here in Grand Haven, we yeah. came back late at night from the musical fountain. Yeah. And uh, this ha has you flip a switch and it has nav lights. And, and it has a, a tall, very tall oh. uh, stern light. Yeah. And so you can see it all the way around. The other one. Oh, um, the other one, I like we had to hold it up, and yeah. your arm would get tired and. Yeah. It did have a cool red and green light, but you still had to hold it because the suction wouldn't work. And yeah, so we thing. feel a lot more confident and safe uh, mm -hmm. in our high field. Uh, it's a lot more stable to step onto and off of. It's a it's a shorter Word, step. Because I'm bad at it. Yeah, so it's got a, a step pad forward and then a, a half a step down and then mm -hmm. you're down to the bottom. Whereas we had just kind of the leap of faith <laughs> with, with the old tender where uh, you're heading all the way in or you're yeah. you're, you're stepping on the... Um, you're scooting in. You're, yeah, you're stepping on the side and mm -hmm. it's um, oh, yeah, less is... stable and it's squishy and so it, it didn't feel mm -hmm. as, as safe to, to board. Yeah. Um, you mentioned not getting your butt wet. Well. We had an epic fail when one of our first dinghy rides with our old tender everybody got dressed i think it was in white lake we were heading to to white hall even had for lunch she had a uh, she had gotten dressed for the day we were hit, hitting the town and uh, a wave came up right just, over the oh, side the, and soaked and her and the front yeah just both of them, um, so. and we've tried to get wet in this and other than a little bit of wind blowing yeah. some spray um it is a dry ride under all the wakes that we have gone over mm -hmm. so uh, as advertised and awesome for mm -hmm. sure. Um, the other thing, mentioning dry, the build. This is a <laughs> double floor and so it is not wet down here. Uh, yeah, water deep. will drain to the back and then get pumped out with a, an automatic bilge pump. Oh, um, not, not our son with the, 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 <laughs> the manual um, bilge pump. Even in a, like a little rain or something, uh, we would have to pump out that tender yeah. and that was no fun. This, all kinds of fun. We don't even have to worry about it, uh, which is awesome. And what happened in the last one? Because of water. We um, blew up one of our uh, self-inflating life jackets. And so that's like a $35 uh, rearm kit. Yeah, it was just in kit. the bottom while we were beached and we came back. Yeah. We were And we were at our boat the whole time. Yeah, not, not in this just... one. That would be awesome. Um, the other thing is, where were all those things? They were just laying in the bottom of yeah. our of our dinghy, but um, this high field has storage everywhere. So there's a, a cabinet uh, or a, a locking compartment forward for the fuel tank. For the fuel. There's yes. uh, storage under the bench seat in the middle, a big zipper compartment with two uh, exterior zipper pouches. And we then underneath the, the seat that we're mm -hmm. sitting on now is a lockable uh, secure storage mm -hmm. too. Uh, we can fit our whole cooler in there, um, oh, yeah, any, anything like that. So uh, it feels a lot nicer to have stuff not just thrown in. Uh, or I've been carrying things, even all the life jackets. I've yeah, security wise, yeah. We don't want to go through like in new inflatable PFDs because mm -hmm. some hooligan uh, took them while we were uh, up at lunch. So uh, having them stowable and lockable is, is a big bonus. Nice. And, and lots of storage, like just tons on this boat. Mm -hmm. um, and, and we feel a lot more secure, so I think we'll use it more because uh, we can lock things up and it's not um, going to yeah. uh, cause trouble. Mm -hmm. uh, and then we get into like the super nice to the have. Like you don't really need all this stuff, but um, we love having a stereo on here. Like I didn't, I didn't, I didn't know that it was going to be like as awesome as it is. And the, we've just been listening to a song. Yeah, and the kids don't really appreciate my choice of music, which is how <laughs> you know you're winning. Yeah. But uh, we are loving that, and um, it just is a Bluetooth connection to my phone yeah. and you can play anything you want um, we also it's have super a super awesome for annoying them like we had bluegrass covers last night yeah it was very blasting sweet. them through the marina and Brittany covers Taylor Swift covers they're yeah. just like no and that was the best uh, we also have a Garmin um, MFD display with mm -hmm. uh, maps and a transducer so we know our depth and sonar fish finder yeah. um, is very fancy. Um, probably not a requirement by <laughs> any means. No. But we, um, you don't know the waters, and right. especially in a tender, if there's like a sandbar or, or rocks or um, old pilings or something, uh, I missed 
having that knowledge uh, from the the main boat. And so when we would go exploring, you don't know if you're gonna run over something or not. Now we do. So now we have the nav charts, we know where the dinghy dock is we're heading to, and we know how to get there so that we don't run aground on our way there. So well, it really does provide a lot more confidence because you know your depth mm -hmm. and you know where on the chart that you are. I think, and my favorite part about the Garmin is that um, our kids are older, like 15 and 13. And so they're old enough to go out and dinghy by themselves and they have their boating licenses. And so they can follow the breadcrumbs that they traveled back to the boat. Yeah, and the other advantage of this is that you can map out, if you have like an anchorage coming up and you don't know if you can get the mm, big boat in yeah. there for the night and you're not sure how shallow it is back there, the chart may not be accurate, um, we can s send somebody in on this tender scout. with the um, with the Garmin mm -hmm. on and go looking at that depth transducer and know that we can um, anchor safely in there. So I think that's going to be all kinds of useful too. Yeah, and number 10 is kind of silly, but awesome. It is si silly and you definitely don't need it, but underwater water lights. Color blue yeah, lights. Blue lights underwater. Um, we don't have underwater lights on our main boat, but um, <laughs> we but s several have in marinas and it looks cool. And so now we can look cool We're just cool like too. those people. So um, thank you again to Dustin Bourbon City Yacht Tenders. Yes. Um, we are thrilled with our high field. Uh, for reference, this is the 340 Classic with the FCT console. Uh, it's awesome. Uh, we had kind of had our eye on the 310 Classic, um, but with a family of four, uh, the 340 gives you about a foot extra, nine inches extra, and it actually a makes a big difference, yeah. and it fits perfectly on our swim platform. So um, highly recommend 310 if you're a couple, 340 if you're a family of four, just um, do it. I don't think you'll regret it. It's just absolutely awesome. So we're going to fire this up, finish our uh, beers, and head into the sunset. So thanks for joining for another happy hour and uh, we appreciate you guys watching. Cheers. Cheers.